Hey there Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be your next 7 to 10 days. So it'll take you up until the beginning of November when then we'll have your monthly reading, which is a bit longer. With the lunar eclipse, there's going to be a lot of energy shifting from day to day. So check back throughout the next 7 to 10 days. If you see this after the lunar eclipse, at any point in time you're called to it or a month or two, but something calls you to it, it's timeless. It's your 7 to 10 days. I do advise, as always, to check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign. And also, if you want a private reading or any of my services, everything's always in the description box below. Libra, if you're enjoying your readings, I do suggest that you like, subscribe. Let me know that you are because <clears throat> I'm really going to be focusing on the signs that are resonating with their readings. Um, sharing as well could be a good idea so that other Libras can get some messages. We've got that that wanted to come out. Let's see what we've got, please, Spirit. The sun, moon, rising in Libras. Sun, moon, rising in Libra. Venus as well. The cards are being really... <laughs> they're just like flipping like that instead of falling out. Okay. So... We've got the High Priestess, the Four of Wands, the Four of Cups, the Judgment card, and the Three of Wands. Okay. I'm just going to pull one more card. Okay, so... Um, I think this lunar eclipse is going to be really tapping into your emotions. Um, emotions, interesting. I wanted to say your intuition. I felt like it was going to be really speaking to you. And I feel like you're going to be like, am I dreaming right now? Like, did I just have this dream? You're going to be feeling a lot of um, vivid dreams. Some of you I'm getting like transcendence as well. Um, and that could mean actually when you wake up, you're feeling a bit more tired. Now, there are things in life to celebrate, but you are bored, you're feeling a bit demotivated from something. We'll check what that is. It could be around your family life, it could be around something else. I'm going to tap into that. But there are things for you to celebrate. I'm not sure if you're able to see them. When I see the judgment card as well and the three of wands. I feel like what you've been hoping for has not actually come in, which is giving you that dissatisfaction and demotivation and boredom and then it means that it's stealing from you seeing other things that you could be probably grateful or celebrating or really happy about now in what i think your challenge this next seven to ten days is is really going to be about this um it's going to be about walking away where you've walked away from something, you might be thinking, I, do I regret this decision or choice? You might be feeling like you're stuck in the current reality um, and fears that are blocking your momentum, like escapism, avoidance. And that's where I said, you know, you're going to be feeling, did I just have this dream? Am I here? Am I grounded? And you really just need to let go, release that that no longer serves you. Walk away from any negativity and choose yourself and have hope, you know, and listen to those signs. So your challenge is really about looking back at choices you've made of any regret that's impacting you during this seven to 10 days and probably maybe giving you a seven, like a rose tinted glasses kind of approach to life. Instead of feeling I've got the, I've got, um, I've got the energy, I've got the enthusiasm, I've got the ideas to move forward in my life. I feel the energy and I think that will come in as soon as you face this challenge that you might feel, you know. Some of it could be around heartbreak and loss. You need to celebrate as soon as you feel that spark within you celebrate it 
you know don't dampen it and think oh but this you know what i mean and look there could be a fresh new start coming in for you around your abundance your money you know it could even be an offer while you have just had an offer exactly what i said it could be an offer while you've just actually received an offer because i've been in your readings where you've started to see things come in moving for you and then suddenly another thing comes in arriving which helps you shift from this energy um it, look, look at the shift of this it's amazing Yeah, some of you are definitely getting a new job offer, a new offer. Some of you, it could be around a house and apartment, but I feel it's more around your job. And I think it's where you've actually really had to be resilient in an area of your life where also it's needed you to look at something from a different perspective in order for things to move forward. And because you had not seen it from that perspective and you maybe you're dealing with choices of the past where you had regret. And so that was kind of, you know, when you move forward, but then you move back because you remember your regret. And so it puts you in this energy. But as soon as you handle this, you're having this better judgment about your life and you're actually seeing things coming in where you've really had to feel a bit quite resilient and put in the work and look at this this is it could be definitely around love you know where in the past you've had a lot of heartbreak um people that have really probably um, made you feel like love or relationships was something hard that you really always had to work on maybe not the best people at your for you this is also about choices in your life choices are making the right choices and so if you regret choices in the past you're making the better choices now um which you're gonna you know as opposed to coming from a wounded space you're going to be coming from a sort of a more uh space where your heart is open six of swords some of you, you know, you have walked, you've, you are walking away for the better change. It could be around this mindset, I said, it could be around leaving past kind of people that you used to be attracted to. I feel you are attracting someone else who's also a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius in their top placements. And uh, this person could actually be abroad at the moment. You could be, you know, they could come into... I don't know, there could be a fiery connection that just comes in and um, it could be like a DM. It could be something that just comes in where, you know, maybe, do you know, sometimes when you might ping someone or something and it ends up being someone else's number. I don't know why I just got that. That I don't know if that happens for you. That never happens. For, I'm not going to say never because now it'll end up happening. But um you know, when you kind of like don't even think of something and then you you just maybe liaise with someone or you say hi and it ends up being something else and it could be someone who's abroad i mean it could even be dating apps um here all right but that's what i have for you libra so making sure you don't look upon the past thinking of regret which is going to dampen how you feel and the new opportunities that are coming in for you singles if you can uh, it could be love and it could be from someone who's abroad or arrives in the country back from a vacation or it could be you when you travel on a little vacation you meet someone then okay when you're taking a bit of rest or a little vacation so libra that's what i have for you take care and i'll see you in your next reading bye for now